Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week I bring you a Vast Olore Ichigo home screen setup. This is going to be a follow up to my video on how to customize your Android home screen like a pro. So if you haven't already, make sure you check it out. Including last week's theme, Cyberpunk 2077. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So let's take this blank stock home screen and turn it into this. So the first thing you want to do is head to the Play Store and install Nova Launcher and its pro version Nova Launcher Prime. And next, for our widgets, we're going to install KWGT and the Pro Key version. Next, just simply follow the on screen instructions from Nova Launcher and then just remove any unwanted icons from your screen until you have something that looks like this. Let's complete the home screen cleanup by removing the notification bar. It's as simple as heading into the Nova Launcher settings, look and feel, and then disabling show notification bar. This is going to give you a nice clean canvas to work with. Next, let's head back to the Play Store and grab ourselves the icon pack Desaturate. After which, just head back to the Nova Launcher settings, look and feel, click on icon styles and then change the icon theme. Next, let's talk about the custom live wallpaper. This you're going to be able to grab from my own custom collection app. But bear in mind, this is a beta version and I'm still working out a few kinks. Just simply navigate to the live video section and select one of the live wallpapers for your home screen. The links for this and all other apps that I'm using in this video are going to be in the description below, so check them out. Now that that's out of the way, let's make our icon stand out from the background with a backdrop of their own. Just simply head back into the Nova settings, home screen, dock, and click on dock background. Now simply enable it and head into custom shape. Here, you'll be able to mold the background to the shape that you like. Personally, I've added curves to the top, straight on the bottom and added padding. Next, you want to change the color to something more suitable. Personally, I've gone for a more material orange. Feel free to use the color code that I'm indicating on screen. And as a final tweak, I've chosen to set transparency to 35%. Now let's move on to our KWGT widget. Simply head back to the Play Store and install the KWGT pack Miniism. Once done, simply place the KWGT widget to your home screen, tap on it to open the widget maker, head into the Miniism pack, and then load in the preset widget number 63. Currently, it doesn't really fit in with the aesthetics of the theme, so let's change that with a few modifications. Head into the item stacked group, morphing text, and then text. Now here, all you need to do is highlight and copy the date formula before heading back. Next, select the morphing text tick box and hit delete. Now let's replace that very useful today text with the actual date. Just simply follow as I'm indicating on screen and paste in the formula from earlier on. At this point, as a personal preference, I'm going to remove one of the four E's to shorten the length of the date. Now simply adjust the size of the date text as well as the rectangle shapes height and width until you get to something that you're happy with. And finally, I'm going to change the shape's color to something more suitable as I'm indicating on screen. And don't forget to hit save before you leave. Next all that's left is to reposition, resize and rescale the widget. Now the final piece of this home screen setup, the camera ring battery indicator. This is provided by one of my favorite apps, Energy Ring. Just simply enable the app using the toggle in the top right corner and make sure you enable the Energy Ring service within your accessibility settings as I'm indicating here. Now that you have the setup out of the way, feel free to play around with the app's settings until you find something that you like. But if you want more customization, there's also a pro version you can unlock. Also bear in mind, the developer has made multiple versions of the app for different phone models, so make sure you grab the right one for you from the Play Store. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.